Alrighty, well, 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 hello, everybody, it's Royal Finance here, welcome back to the channel and to another live stream today, as was voted on last stream, to be showcasing the T57 Heavy again. It's been a hot minute, uh, the tanks received some minor changes, I think, since I last streamed it, but, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a good time, 57 Heavy, still a very solid tier 10 Heavy tank, so I'm looking forward to playing this vehicle today, bit of an earlier stream today for everyone in Europe. I try and try to accommodate for different time zones, but given my location, it's hard to hit Europe and Asia. <laughs> so um, here I am right now, ready to rock and roll. Hopefully you guys are having a good Friday. Not Saturday yet, but it is almost the weekend. Yay. All right. And man, Neil, Blitz Nation, Helmi, Ominish, Shimek, uh, Weird Blitz, RC, Mukata, Jay, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me here today, as well as anyone else who I did not call by name. So, Vanish, do you think the CS will get a buff? I hope it does. I hope it does. I think the CS is pretty mid, <laughs> to be honest. So hopefully one day it does. Small buffs would make a huge difference. It's too reliant on consumables and provisions and stuff like that. All right, 57 heavy. Like last year, this was one of the most broken tier 10 tanks in the game back when I had a pretty much unpenable hull and a super troll turret and like really good gun and stuff like that. Now, now it's a lot more balanced. Basically, it lost almost all of its hull armor. So the hull is pretty easy to pen on this tank nowadays, but that's never really was the primary focus of the 57 Heavy. It was generally speaking, it's gun and that was about it. And it, fortunately, it still has a very solid gun with... Let's take a quick peek at the gun statistics real quickly, just for a refresher. Okay, 2665 DPM. It does have a 22 second magazine reload. That was one of the areas it, it definitely feels a little bit worse than way back in the day. I think at one point it had a sub 19 second magazine reload. Now oh, it's 22, uh, but it still has decent DPM and it still has the ability to dump out that 1200 damage in about five seconds or so, which is very solid. And so that damage dealing is nice. Eight degrees of gun depression, quite versatile. The tank actually has quite a bit of turret armor. Let me look specifically for the values. Oh, I think I have to scroll to the top. Yeah, the turret armor is 220, but uh, it's also quite angled. So you'd be surprised how many ricochets the 57 does get on this turret. Not something to rely on too much, but it's enough It's enough where you can kind of peek, and, and especially against lower pen opponents, you are somewhat safe. Somewhat. I, with fit, with autoloaders in general, it always is about positioning and putting yourself in a spot where you can just poke out, deal those three shots of damage and pull back and remain safe. It's not really a brawling heavy, not really a frontline heavy, unless you're doing frontline support. And these are all things you have to keep in mind for the 57. But let's jump into some games right now. Hello, Fennis. Good morning. 2am from Malaysia. I hope you have a great stream. Uh, not a very friendly stream for my Asians out there. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's so early for you. Good morning. It should have lecturing state about the 57. Yeah, well, I mean, autoloaders generally most of the time have a pretty similar play style. Ugh, really loud. Um, the 50B is definitely, if you can, if you can figure out how to play the 50B well, you can pretty much figure out how to play every other autoloading heavy tank well. That's at least my opinion because the 50B is the most delicate of the bunch. So if you can do well on that one, you can do well in pretty much all of these. What I will do for the start of this game is pull on up over to these ramps maybe get an early magazine off on anyone who's doing a lazy crossing here or here and just linger back until I get more information on what the enemy team is doing before committing to a play. So let's just wait it out. We do have a 100 and Rat 71 and an E4 that will be covering the right hand side for me. So if the enemy team are there, I don't have to worry about them yoloing out. Uh, but as of right now, no one spotted. Now looking at the enemy's lineup, it seems pretty obvious that most of their team actually is going to go A side. And so I need to figure out what I'm going to do to counter that. I can go back into our spawn and support my team maybe, or I can try <laughs> pushing into the enemy spawn with my allies. I generally believe it's usually better to wait back with your team, let the enemy team push into you. It's, it's like a little bit better that way. But in this case, as you can see, okay, we might be able to catch this concept out. There we go. One shot into the concept, two shots into the concept. So I already got two shots into this concept here, maybe for a third shot. Unfortunately, I'm missing that third shell. And the enemy team are definitely going to be pressuring this side. And unfortunately, as you can see, my teammates are doing the full send strat instead of the hold strat. So I got to get out of here. I don't want to be a spawn sniper, but at this point, I don't really have much of a choice because once that 183 is dead, it's one versus three over there, and I just can't take that fight at the moment. And, oh no, our 140 is making the same mistake. Uh, 140, please don't go that way. We need you alive. Thank you. So we do have cap, at least, for now. 
The problem is going to be that my whole team is kind of just stuck in spawn the enemy spawn now. And that could be very problematic for us. Now, on the positive side, the enemy's fosh is well. Um, AFK, in case he wakes up, we better put some damage into him. Just as a precaution, you know how it is sometimes these players just set down their device when they're loading in and they don't realize that's exactly why. You can usually tell when that's the case because the gun will drop. When you spawn in, your gun is usually pointed straight forward, but um, if someone spawns in and they load into the battle, but they're just not present, the gun will drop down. Uh, but if the gun's pointing straight forward, it means they never loaded into the game. Little, little secret to know if someone may or may not be actually in the battle when you are playing. Okay, so we have a Jaeger Roo and a, and a concept over here. We gotta try and clear these dudes out. I think prioritizing Mr. Jaeger Roo will probably be the right play for us here. So let's pop one key shell in to pick up a clear on his vehicle here. And we have also a 5A and a concept. I'm gonna put a shell into the concept. We'll focus the concept here because he has slightly higher DPM. And let's just pull back into safety. And I'll use this hill as basically small a small amount of cover here. There is a WZ light kind of behind us, but I'm not too worried about him. Hopefully the Type 71 doesn't get himself killed. And I will try and utilize my next... Um, E4. Uh, I will try and utilize my next magazine to clear out this concept here. At least that's the plan. Alright, one shot into the concept here. Oh no, I done messed up. No. Okay, you know what? The, the Rat 71 cleared him out. W. Anyways, now it's probably about time for me to start pulling back here, just so I can get some cover from this E100, but ooh, actually, you know what? We'll be fine. It's it's three versus two. I have a decent amount of hit points still. We got a ricochet from the 5A here. We'll just focus on the 5A first, probably. It'd be a little bit more logical for me to do that, and uh, especially since I can one-clip him now. So one shot into the 5A, who puts a shot into me here. Second shot. One thing that you will notice, the 57 Heavy's turret traverse speed is definitely not the best in the business. That was one of the areas that did get rebalanced. It used to have really good turret traverse speed, but now it's kind of like, eh, it is what it is. Um, I'm just going to try and use this dude as a little bit of cover. There we go. And now this, oh gosh, this 422 is mad overextended with a high DPM 140 on him and everything. So it, it's Jover for him. I'll get maybe one more shot into him before it's over. There we go. Maybe two? Ah. All right, 5,400 damage first game. So easy, right? I mean, that's that's 57. That's what autoloaders are good at. They just kind of chill and dump that damage out. Uh, the only difference there was probably my positioning, which, you know, RE100 actually did pretty good. Good job, RE100. Um, I initially sat back a little bit to try and cover my 183. Got some really shots into the concept, but the moment you realize you're going to be overmatched in a fight like that, that's when you want to relocate and find a better position to deal that damage. And so that's why I, immediately I just rotated out to meet up with our E100 in the enemy spawn because uh, you don't have DPM and that can make it very difficult for brawling. So you you always want to try and make sure to some extent you have a meat shield with you. And I have an eyelash in my eye. That's great. YouTube made stream buggy to me again. Eh? How is YouTube making the stream buggy? Sorry to hear that. 3 a.m. in the Philippines, man. Hello, neighbors. <laughs> man, that is early. Oh, that's a lot of heavies on the enemy team. This is a very risky play for me. Wish me luck on the crossing here. If I don't get nuked, that is. Okay. We were spotted probably from the right side a little bit here. I do not want to overextend here, but uh, since this man's is being so insistent, I may as well push up a little bit more. And there's the 268. We know the 57's positioning. And let's see if I can maybe start dealing with these E100s here shortly. I'm gonna wait for them to maybe shoot first before I overextend here. Okay, we'll put one shot him. This is why I'm just gonna kind of trust in my turret armor to be effective. And you can see this E100 struggling to find an angle to pen me. If he's not shooting heat, it's definitely gonna be hard for that E100 to pen me. So that's that's nice. You can make kind of peeks like that and somewhat get away with it. But if it was like a, a Yag sitting there, I never would have done that. I, don't know, I was just relying on the E100's terrible accuracy and the fact that this player seems pretty lost in order to make a somewhat safe peek there. So what I think I'll do now... His enemy's T124 is slightly overextended. Just put one shot into the E4, his lower plate. Put another shot into his lower plate. We'll up a heat shot for the kill here, or AP for the side. Nice. There we go. And it, it's just nice being able to clear tanks out. Um, that's where autoloaders really excel. Sometimes in those late game matchups, when there's enough one shots, you can really deal the damage uh, and pick up clears as well, which is always very handy for your allies. So I'm going to wait for this 57 Heavy to stop poking up here, which maybe one day he will. I don't know. I don't really have shots on him. Okay, he just dumped his magazine. This dude's almost dead. Let's put a quick kill shot onto him. Nice. And now that leaves the 57 to probably run away here. I don't think I'm going to reload just yet. 
as I could still maybe get a couple of shots into this Bashathion here, who's being very aggressive. Let's put one shot to the bat chat. Nice, and see if he doesn't pull back. Oh, he did pull back. And this 57 is just kind of waiting for me. But the enemy's 5A might pull forward here. So let's put the shot into the 5A, make him pretty much a one clip to me. Then I'm going to pull back into some safety here. Also, I have a new 100 for support, so we should be okay on this side of the map. Once I'm reloaded, I can just push in and start dealing with the bat chat and the 5A. Probably go for the bat chat first, because, you know, rat chats are annoying little critters, and uh, they're just very inconvenient to have wandering around. So, hello, Mr. Rat. Okay. Whoa, you 100. Almost, almost, almost blocking me there. Very nice. All right. Maybe a max roll? Not quite. But there we go. Pretty easy clear. Typical 57 heavy stuff. Going just heavy side, farming it out. And chillin'. Yeah, 57 still smacks. Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Conspiracy theory. The premium time of fantasy account until the asteroid hits the Earth. 250 days? <laughs> That's not very long. That ain't very long. Uh, high fantasy plan NA. Yes, I am an NA only player. Sweet. Got <laughs> Get to watch during my break. Hey, glad to hear it worked out like that. Morning stream? I know. When was the last time I streamed before noon or started streaming before noon? I, I don't remember. It's been a very long time. Go sleep now. Have a good stream, Fatness. <laughs> Sag and catch Bobby. Oh, oh. Well, Bobby is here. Here. Let me, uh, there you go. There's the Bobby. She is on my lap. Wish granted. Good night. Take care. Hope you have a good one. And there's your brief little Miss Bobbers. Earlier stream today, I'm kind of feeling like this new schedule. Actually, I, <laughs> I bet you the algorithm likes it too because they like consistency. Yeah, we'll see. It's kind of a test, Loki. I want to see um, if the channel analytics change all that much from this format versus my traditional just three, four hour stream once or twice a week. <laughs> How's everything? Finished school, right? Yes, I did. Thank you very much. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm not going to overcommit up top here. I, f I feel from this spawn, it's harder to push up safely. So I'm going to sit back just a little bit. Uh, and see if I can watch maybe this outside lane. Now, we know the 183 and Type 61 have both gone towards this side of the map. The enemy heavy tanks have gone up top a little bit here. I kind of low-key want to push back to clear out the 183, but I need to wait till I figure out where more of their players are at before I make any massive commitments like that. There's the D124 in the enemy team. Very nice. He's pushed up quite extensively here. And it looks like our Waffenträger is going to push up. Now, I'm just concerned about that 183. And also the fact is, if they decided they want to counter push me on this side, I don't have any real support. So... Yeah, this is not looking good for my allies. Okay, we do have an M4 on the flank as well. Oh, this is not good for me at all. Oh, this is very not good. Okay, this game might end up going very poorly for me, by the way. All right, let's track the, let's track the E4 here. Another shot into the E4. And let's put a second track shot into him. Bring him down to 800 hit points. And the type, fortunately, is rolling up to support me here. So that's the good news. The bad news is there's still a 1E3 kind of wandering up our flank here. So I'm going to wait for this E4 to get distracted or shoot. And I'm actually going to counter push this 1E3. I don't want to abandon our type. But you can see my teammates very much need support on the opposite side of the map here. So that's going to be my primary goal. Is to see if I can help my allies out over here before M4 gets taken out. And you can see the 183 is distracted. He just fired. Let's put a quick shot into him. Should be able to clear him there. Nice. And we can maybe make this type of one shot or clear him out. Very good. Nice rotations there. And really just capitalizing on the fact that my Type 71 was going to be decent distraction. In order to rotate out, make sure we could clear one flank. And that's always important. Because if I just sat there with the Type, our M4 definitely would have died. And there would have been two, maybe three tanks over here just pushing in on us, waiting to clear us out. But now we have a slightly better chance at winning this game. Slightly. They still have a lot of hit points, so that's why I say slightly. All right, enemy 57 spotted. One high explosive shell into him. Two high... Ex oh, a 644 max roll HG. Bring him down to 700 hit points. That's a huge W for me. And I'll probably just start reloading my magazine here. And I need to work together with this AMX M4 MLE. The 60 TP is probably going to come from the B side, in which case I might be best off helping push this right hand side a bit here. But I'm a little concerned about overextending, especially with that 60 TP that's going to be flanking us. Um, and there could be a 57 coming from back there as well. Actually, yeah, we got to focus on the lower HP targets. So 60 TP and 57 will be my first uh, opponents here. There we go. One quick shot to the 60 TP. One track shot into him here. Second shot into him there. And we can see the enemy 57 pulling on up. He's going to pick up a maybe a clear one of my allies here. So I got to pull down into safety as quickly as possible before that 60 TP can shoot me. There we go. And we're just going to keep the flank going here to the best of my ability. 
Concept firing a high explosive shell there. 57 Duncan has shot into Narnia, so that's good. I'll be we're losing this because I don't have the DPM, unfortunately. But at least I can get one more shot off, maybe, before it's over. There we go. So I did my best. My team was really split up here, and we lost so many players on D, it kind of became almost impossible to win. There wasn't really all that much I could do in that scenario. Maybe the optimal situation would have been instead of pushing back for the 60 TP, waiting to see if the 57 would push up or just counter pushing the 57 more aggressively. Not sure. Did 5.5k damage. I think that was okay. Uh, and I think all the rotations and everything I made that game were correct. The problem was just my allies are just dropping like flies there, but still able to pull out five and a half thousand damage. So saucy uh d57 heavy armor is pretty troll on the turret yeah it's quite troll it is very very troll what is good fatness hope you're having a splendid day thank you <laughs> bobby's the cutest i agree um hey fatness do you think atrocious back backward speed is the only downside this bad boy has uh that's definitely a con for sure uh, especially on autoloaders, because you tend to overextend just a little bit when dealing that damage. We're going to go up mid here. And when that happens, and you need to back up, and your tank's going backwards at 12 kilometers an hour or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it can get you nuked very often. So that is definitely a negative. I would also say the turret traverse speed's not the best. It, it used to be worse, uh, better, way, way better. Now it's kind of, it is what it is. <laughs> um... So those are probably the two primary uh, drawbacks for this tank is having bad turret traverse just makes it harder to hit some snapshots in a brawl, especially if tanks are yoloing all around you and stuff like that. All right, let's see. Anyone spotted? Okay, Minerato spotted. Bashathion spotted. E75 spotted. The 183 still unspotted. Nice shot by our mill on the Bashathion there. And E35 spawn sniping. Typical heavy tank antics nowadays. I think what I'll probably do is I, I could either stay here or we'll go back and help our Type 71 and Minerato. I'm probably going to go back and help because it doesn't seem like too much is happening over on this side. And my team may have a bit of an overmatch, but we'll have to be very cautious of that 183 on the enemy team here. So the enemy batch out, fortunately, is pushing up very aggressively. I'm going to pop my consumable and my gosh, that batch out vanished. And there's the 183 as well. So good news. We know where the 183 is. The batch out already got taken out. <laughs> the Minerato's up here. And let's see if we can start pushing in to deal damage on this 183 here, but not quite yet. Don't quite have any shots yet. So let's put a quick shot to him there. Very nice. I'm going to focus this 183 out. He's a bit more dangerous. And there we go. Another two shots into him. So 1300 damage dealt so far. And I think my team is pretty well situated to win this because their heavy tanks are both in Narnia. And uh, the Minerato is already getting farmed out. The E3 is or E4 is not necessarily the healthiest as well. I'm going to use this obstacle as cover here and maybe see if I can start pushing in on this 57. So 57 is not quite ping it. Really? Really? I love allies. I love me some allies. All right, you, you want to poke me again, dude? All right, so this TI-2 with his 350 alpha damage gun is just like an absolute nuisance. Loki, I hope he gets taken out because he's just getting in my way at this point. Um. Let's see, Minerats is backing up. The yellow is actually in a bit of a problematic position for me to deal with, but I don't think it's the end of the world. What I'll probably do now is get ready to start pushing some shots into this Minerato here. I should still be unspotted for the time being. And boom, one shot into the Minerato there, making him a one shot for my team. Very good. He's gonna be in a bad position, so I'll actually probably push up in order to pick up a clear on his tank here soon, because he is a nasty vehicle we don't want to leave alive. Perfect. There's the U. And yeah, I mean, I mean, come on, man. The 57's gun is just so darn good. It, it really is. Its accuracy is consistent. It dumps out the damage so fast. And even though it's not the highest DPM of the autoloaders in tier 10 now, it still, it still kicks pretty hard. And let's see if we can catch this yo out of position here. So the yo is in a poor position. Let's put one shot into the yo. Let's pick up the clear on the yo. Nice. The 57 and... E75 are both kind of wandering back. Let's load up a high explosive shell for this dude. And oh no, it only rolled 200, but that's game over. 3.8k damage dealt. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to get another 4 800 damage in here. But I'm not too confident. The C75 is like side onto my teammates here. There's a Minotaro pulling in. At least the 183 is on a full mag reload, but we'll see. I might be able to get an extra shot or two out here. Actually, I should be able to get at least one more shot, right? Two maybe. Maybe two. Heck yeah, we got two shots in. Maybe a third? 
Nice. All right, this is where we at well over 4,000 damage. It's very easy to deal damage in auto loaders. Super, super easy. It could, because you have to poke so little to deal damage. Like, sometimes those high DPM low alpha tanks, they can farm really well, but in a lot of scenarios, it just doesn't work out because you can't be constantly poking one position. Wow, well played to the Type 71 here, doing 5,000 damage. Me and him combined there doing almost 10k with six of our team's kills and then our bottom three allies doing 800 or less damage a piece that's that's actually kind of crazy i guess both teams weren't the best but me and the type kind of carried there for our team so wow so many Asia, asian viewers i got a surprise man i thought this stream time wouldn't be uh the best for asia server or just people in asian general just because of the time uh so i, I usually stream in the evening my time which meets up in the morning in uh asia but I wanted to do an earlier stream for the EU folks today. Uh, do you think Kronwagen is better than the T-57? Yes and no. I think there are definitely things the Kron does better. It's hold down capabilities. Um, does my team want to go townside? I don't know. I, I guess. I guess we're going townside, boys. I don't I don't really know. Um, yeah, Kron, hold down is really nasty to deal with. I would say, arguably, the Kronwagen gun is worse, in my opinion. Like, better and worse in some senses, but I'm not a huge fan of the Kron's gun. I personally find it to be rather not not the most enjoyable to play. And what on earth is my team? This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. I don't have, like, anyone to push up with me in this BZ here. So if the enemy team all send it through heavy side, it's kind of jover for us, as our whole team is basically spawn sniping. Uh, there is an enemy IS-7 though, so that's good. I'm just going here for some quick spots. My goal right now is to work with my team that's basically all in spawn in order to provide me with some degree of cover fire. Because, yeah, not a whole lot I can do in this scenario with how my team is playing. But I will try and sit back kind of near them. I'm just keeping an eye on what my team's doing here. Okay, E75 and I7. Jaeger is in a haul down spot. Are those two heavy tanks ISO? If they are, I mean the Jaeger could probably deal with them pretty easily here. So, you know what? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's exactly what we're gonna do here. So here's the IS7. Let's pop our consumable here. One shot to his lower plate. Very nice. Another shot's a heat shell. Sadly, that one didn't pen, but the second one did. Not the best trade for me. If it was a three for one, that'd be okay, but I'll take it all the same. And together with this Yag, we should be able to clear these two dudes out, especially since our BZ is providing quite a bit of crossfires here. This E75 seems really lost, like super, super lost. And, I, you know, I'll take a shot from him if it means I can pick him up here. So, E75 is going to pull forward just a little bit. Let's track him and pick up a clear on his tank here. All right, perfect stuff. I7 gets taken out. So that's why I thought it was better just to sit back with my team here instead of pushing all the way up towards like D and stuff. That way I I, I can guarantee I have that support when it's when it's needed. And so we're doing okay so far. Doing okay so. Really? <laughs> really, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sit in front of a Yag. Let's go, let's go, man. Let's go, my dude. Just sit in front of that Yag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's a great idea. Okay, okay. Yep, sit there a little bit longer. Oh, you're a one shot now. Okay, well, I wasn't really expecting our mans to be quite that aggressive there. There's a TI2 back here as well. Oh, the Fenric, I'll probably actually make a one-shot for our 95. That'll probably be beneficial to my teammates here. And TL7 could be trying to push up to shoot me. So I'm going to pull up towards this wall here just for a bit of cover. And hopefully by the time I'm reloaded, I will be able to help clear out these players here. So the BZ should be able to clear out this T92 probably, I would assume, um, or not. I don't know. At this point, I'm going to focus the TL7 here because HE is easy farm for me. One HE shell, one AP shell, and then if I'm lucky, I can clear that dude out, which I'm not. Uh, let's see. Heat shell? Nice. Okay, two one shots. Well, one one shot, one lower HP target. Yeah, that's what you got to do in these type of scen scenarios. When, you're, when your whole team is kind of like wandering Andes in Narnia, <laughs> or in this case, in Spawn, uh, you kind of just have to sit back with them and hope that they're able to provide enough cover fire and don't overextend, especially when you're in an autoloader. All right, let's see what Mr. 4005 is up to. Hello. All right, let's see where this version 4 is at. Hello, version 4. Where are you at, my dude? I need my 4K damage. Hello. Oh, no. 
I suck. Well, I got my 4K out. It's okay. We're good. <laughs> if Anna's has finally caught your stream live, say hey to Bubbers. Bobby, someone says hi to you. There you go. <laughs> uh, what's, what's little bro team doing? Dude, I don't know, but it actually worked out. Somehow it worked out. You know, shout out to our Yag here because our Yag actually pushed up and helped us instead of just sitting and spawn with everyone. So I respect the Yag's play there. <laughs> I love you, HRL. Thank you. Uh, I think WG is not a newbie matchmaking anymore. Um, well, it never was. Press accounts are never, uh, well, they shouldn't be placed in newbie matchmaker. That's why I'm, I, that's why I've been pretty consistently facing players that have well over 5,000 games. Like, newbie matchmaking is basically almost everyone is sub 5k matchmaking. Um, and I haven't had that on this account. It was just like the SBMM wasn't like working properly on it. So I was just being thrown into random battles. <laughs> which uh i don't mind because it kind of is more representative what the what the um gameplay would be like once the skill-based matchmakers remove next update uh only 233 more subs to 35k smash that like button to reach the milestone mcfanis dude a stock tier five. hey yo i hey jack thanks appreciate it but i did not agree to a stock tier five stream i did not agree to that <laughs> all right we're gonna go right side here uh let's see what i can do STB, STRV, 57, uh, E50M, and 3210TDs. They don't have a lot of heavies. We actually have a better heavy tank lineup, I would say, but we also suffer from a much worse medium tank lineup. Is it's just a Sheridan 140 that are going to have to take corner versus <laughs> STB and E50M? Probably two of the most terrifying Hall Island tanks you could face <laughs> while uh, trying to engage in a medium tank battle. So. What I'm going to do is immediately push on up to C-Cap because that's generally the play you want to make. Yes, I'll probably bleed a little bit while doing this. I'm fine. I've I've accepted that already. And I just want to make sure my team has that support up on C-Cap here. And my team is still sitting back. Like, come on, guys. We, we've already pushed up the C basically at this point. Why, why is everyone sitting back? All right, quick shot into this player here. Let's see what my allies are doing. They're doing a whole lot of nothing, basically. Yep, they are doing a whole lot of nothing. If we could kill this STB, that would be super beneficial for my team here. Quick shot to the STRV. There we go. The turret armor working quite well. Let's aim in a shot onto this E50M as well. So that should be about 1181 damage exactly. <laughs> uh, come on, guys. We can go. M4. You don't have to sit and spawn all game. Oh, my. The enemy's E50M just did a massive oopsie. Wow. Okay, well, the good news is, is this STRV is being quite aggressive here. Bad news is, there's also a T124 and Badger rotated back to support him. I might take the peak here. And there we go. The turret armor does work in my benefit. Let's put a quick shot into this 183. Second shot. Nice. 840 damage there. I'll take it. And my team should be able to push this STB out shortly. I mean, this VK can just kind of hold this corner for now. We will have to watch out, though. The enemy team does have a 57 heavy flanking us. And really, no one's there to stop him from clipping me. So... I either rotate back for him or I continue holding the front here. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. What I think I will do, actually, is first we gotta pick up a kill on this 183 here before I can nuke my ally. And then I'm actually gonna rotate over to start dealing with this STB1 here. So, I'm gonna push on up to this ridge and that should put me in a position to start crossfiring this STB. Um, guess the gun decided it really wants to troll me right now, which, I mean, it is what it is. We are still gonna win this game, I think, by a long shot. Okay, gun, please, do you, do you mind? You mind not trolling me right now? It's not the time for that. Okay. Let's see. 14 seconds, and then I can probably dump a magazine in terms of the Badger and E4 here. And the 57 is still pretty healthy, so once I do that, I'll probably rotate back to deal some damage. Because we should be good to win this side. Man, this Badger is miffed. Dude is like, I'm just going to sit up here for the rest of the game. All right, one shot into Mr. Badger here. Two shots into Mr. Badger here. And let's wait for him to stop wiggling. Three shots. Perfect. And you know what? I'll probably stay here to clip the E4 out next, as the STRV is still going to be a bit of a distraction, so I should be able to get a magazine into the E4 soon. So we'll just wait this out. This guy's pretty easy. My team eventually pushed up, unfortunately, since we had C-cap advantage, the enemy team couldn't do a whole lot once we were pushed up. And that's why I've always, always talked about the importance of pushing into C-cap. 644, 1200 with two shots. Holy... Oh my, that was vile. Two HE shells did 1,200 damage there. 644 max roll, which means my next shell rolled in the, five high, in the high 500s. That is actually crazy. 
And uh, I'm glad I decided to wait to clip the E4 there. Piece of cake. That should put me... Uh, I don't know if I got 4K, but definitely high 3Ks. This dude's dead. Psych, mine. <laughs> I got to steal the kill. Let's go. Venice, will you be able to win one versus seven? You have full HP tank of your choice. Enemy has one HP seven tanks. I mean, maybe? Depends on what tanks they're playing. Oh, wow. Actually, I did over five. That was an ace? Okay. Wow. Uh, apparently, that was an ace, guys. Yeah, 1493 basic speed is an ace in the 57 nowadays. I remember when the 57 used to require like well over six and a half thousand damage to ace. Wish me luck on my uh, calc test. Good luck on your calculus test. May you get that dub. Uh, <laughs> 50 gun is better than 57 gun, isn't it? Or is it just me? Uh, yeah, no. I would say 57 stall is probably a better gun. Just, just because... I mean, here's the advantage of the 57 versus the 50B. Yeah, the 50B deals more total damage when you catch a tank out, but the 57 is going to deal a higher amount of damage in a shorter period of time with higher consistent rolls, and it doesn't have to be overextended as much to deal that damage. So it feels more comfortable in that regard. And I don't know about accuracy. I know the 50B's accuracy was pretty dog water when it got its fourth shot, but they, I think they may have buffed it a little bit, so it might be more bearable now. And I'm already spotted somehow. That's very interesting. Um, M103 is spawn sniping. I'm the only one on the ship. I have a 183 for cover fire, and the aggressor is kind of in Narnia. This game is already starting out to be quite interesting indeed. Enemy Leo PTA also spotted over here. I was not really expecting that, to be honest. Let's see if this man makes a play here. I think he's going to pull out, to be honest. Let's see. I got to be careful. I think their whole team's here. Look at the mini map. No one spotted except for this section of the map. That's, that's already a tall tale sign of what their team is doing. So, T30 is a bit distracted for a moment here. Let's put a quick shell into him there while we can. Ah, wasn't able to readjust my auto aim there. Silly me. Ooh, it's the rear of a Yost turret. Let's HE that real quick. 520, lovely. Now, my meds overextend to the enemy spawn. I always say to be really careful pushing into the enemy spawn because they can easily, like in this scenario, just pull back and dunk on you. So, I'll do my best to support from here, but obviously, there's only so much I can do from this angle, especially with how aggressively my team is pushed up here. Dang, if only I was reloaded, I maybe could have permatracked that 5A. Um... 5A pushing in quite aggressively here. If I pull back just enough on this ridge and the 5A pulls to the left for a 62, we might be able to get some shots in here. There we go. Quick shot into this Leo PTA. All right. So at least we got a shot on the him. Might be a bit stupid to poke this if I am low HP. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting the 183 to pull through there as well as the T30. Let's see. What are my allies doing here? I didn't go through anything. Okay, I was not expecting that. Let's just reload. Let's just reload. There's no point sitting here with one shot when I can just reload get a full magazine and punish someone for overextending. Oh, our regress already died. M103 is dying. Enemy team is all kind of rotating through the mid here. If we can kill off the enemy 57, that'd be huge. I'm just going to use this as soft cover as camouflage. Okay, the 5A will not be able to spot me from there. Okay. So, let's see. All right, 57 heavy is still safe here for now. I think what I will do just to help my team out here is pick up a necessary kill shot. We'll wait to see if the enemy 57 starts poking on me. He has not. We know where the 4005 is as well. That's huge. 183 is also dead. Let's reload again. Uh, and they get ready to maybe counter push that 57 heavy here. Do I go back for the 5A? Maybe I should go back for the 5A. No, I should deal with this 57 heavy first. I think that's going to be the... The bigger priority here. I'm going to act like I'm... Well, I am on a full reload, but I'm going to see if I can bait him here a little bit. And let's see if we can start dealing with this 57 Heavy. All right, one shot to my tracks here. Let's punish him again. Punish him again. We'll tree track him and then just pull back. If he tries to sit there to shoot at me, the M103 can have pick up the clear. M103, you have one job. M103, you, you have one... And M103, he's on a long reload. You should really be pushing up and killing him right now because he's on a full magazine reload. And this is bad news. Okay. M103, it's not that hard. It's like a full... We have the same pen on AP here, dude. It's, it's not that hard. Oh, gosh. Now the yo's coming in from behind. And I'll probably be spotted here in a moment's time. Let's just hope for the high magazine roll here. All right. One shot to lower plate. Oh, of course, he tracks me. Oh, oh, nice, nice, nice. He's overextended. He's overextended just a little bit here. All right, one more clear. And uh, let's see if I can do anything about this. I'll have to reload. The problem is going to be this yo here. 
He's gonna proxy me if I start pushing up, but I, I don't have really much of a choice here. So. Oh, there's still a 4005 as well. Oh, of course he kills my loader. Yeah, nice, nice meme. Of course he kills my loader. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ricochet, ricochet, ricochet. I gotta back up a little bit here. Wait, do you only have two shots in the mag? It's still Jover for me. Yeah. Holy talented team there. Insane. M103 had... I saw him shoot three times. Three opportunities to kill the 57 in the open with its auto pen haul. And Buddy somehow messed that up. <laughs> also, um... Yeah. Wow, my team was just fantastic there. That that's that's crazy. Uh meds both overextended. <laughs> Leo seems to be molded, but he did sixteen hundred damage. I want to hear from you. Uh the M103, man. The M103. Ooh, 43. Man. A lot of 43 percenters on my team that game. That was great. Did what I could. We still did just under four thousand damage there, so I'm happy with that. The only only problem was my team, really. Our meds way overextended. Like I said. You got to be ultra careful just because a flank is open doesn't mean you should just YOLO into the enemy's spawn because they can very easily, if they're all stacked up in one corner, rotate back and clear you. That's something you always have to be aware of when you're playing medium and light tanks. And sometimes people will be like, meds flank faster. It's like, you should always prioritize your tank's uh, survivability first in that scenario because having something just being annoying on the flank is 10 times more useful than you YOLOing into their spawn and dying. You want to 3 through the game there? Kinda, yeah. I should have just pushed forward to kill the 57 myself. Like, I, I... You saw the 57's hull armor. The M103 just has, like, a single-shot variation of this gun. So he has the same penetration values, I'm pretty sure. There's no way he missed up all those kill shots. <laughs> I was like, no. And then somehow someone brought him down to 200 HP. So maybe that 103 started shooting HE. I don't really know. But, uh... Oh, well, that game is in the past. We'll focus on this game. Lots of heavies, lots of TDs. We'll have to be very careful this battle not to overextend too much here because that could spell a very quick and painful demise for my vehicle here so i'm just going to spot up around this corner basically and we're going to wait to figure out what the enemy team is doing here but i i expect most of their team to go town side personally also if you look where our light tank is right now up on the top left corner of the mini map he's not spotted anything on that side yet so that pretty much confirms that most of their team is going to be back here or in their spawn and that's cool we can maybe deal with that we'll just have to be careful not to overextend and get ourselves really messed up by doing something silly. All right. Quick shot to the 100 here. Second shot to the 100 here. Maybe a third shot. Nice. Only, what, 970 damage because the heat shell is mega low rolled there, but I will take it. I will take it. We got three pens there and did not take anything in return. Fortunately, that 57 was tunnel vision. And wow, would you look at that? The enemy already have a minaret. What is this gameplay? What? Holy smokes, why is there a Minerat already in her spawn? $4.99 from Artox11. Thank you very much. Thanks for this. For whatever reason, I struggled with 57. Oh my gosh, the CTTP just got Amorak. Thank you very much, Artox, for the donation. I really appreciate it. And yeah, hopefully this will be helpful. Right? What I'm doing right now is just rotating around, doing what I can. You know what? Oh boy. Let's aim for the field tanks first. So one shot to the field tanks here, two shots and source the field tanks here. Three shots. Unfortunately, it did not take out his field tanks, but we did nuke him together with the version 4. So that's a W. I'm by myself over on this flank now. So killing the Minerato with the E100 support probably, and then dealing with the Sharon will be my next priority. YOLOing into the enemy spawn probably isn't going to really be it. So I'm going to hope our E100 is fine there as I would like to start pressuring the Sheridan out. So I'm going to start pressuring the Sheridan here a little bit. Hello, Mr. Shaladon. All right, one quick shot to you, good sir. You know what? Our E100 is throwing real hardcore here. So, oh, E100, do you mind not blocking my shots here? There you go. I'm going to help our E100 out a little bit because Mans does not know about high explosive ammunition. He could have HE splashed a Minerato pretty easily there. Or he penned them twice. Unless he's running Rammer. Maybe that's why he wasn't penning his shots. So, as you can see, our two TDs that overextended to enemy spawn did, did get blood out quite a bit. I'm gonna have to deal with the Sheridan next here. Hopefully he doesn't spot me just yet because he's gonna start clearing out these TDs and that's not gonna be good for us. So chasing down the mobile tanks, that'll be more of a nuisance. And then I'll deal with their TDs later when the time is ripe. So let's see. The Yag's completely out of the fight. We'll have to keep an eye out on what the 183 is up to. But the Sheridan should give me a shot here. There we go. One quick shot. Two quick shots. Waiting for a track shot there. Max roll maybe. 
did bring them down to a one shot. Maybe our version four can pick them up. They have two one shot heavies and two full HP TDs. So we're gonna have to be very, very careful here. Very careful. Minerazzo, I think, just got baited and missed his kill shot on the Sheridan. Fantastic stuff. Uh, and he gets taken out now. Great. I was uh, hoping that would not be the case. Let's see, I still have any wonder for support here. This enemy Sheridan is in the vicinity still. I'm gonna focus on clearing the Sheridan first here. That's really important for my teammates. Then we're gonna have to pull back a little bit from this location. Ever so slightly. There's the enemy's 183. So they have a one-shot VK. Oh no, I should have reloaded. I didn't think the 23. Okay, he's pulling up to the house. That's fine. Okay. Oh no, I wanted to dead. Okay, okay, okay. So what to do in a situation like this? Fantastic question. I'm glad you asked. First, we're going to have to pick up some clears here. That's going to be my primary duty. This VK90 for one will be a perfect target for me. But, oh, maybe I can clip out the 183 here? I don't know. The 183 is bound to be coming up from behind me here. If not, it's the Yag. It's it's kind of Jover for me. Unless I can... If I could have just one clipped that 183... Okay. I'm gonna have to make this work somehow. Oh boy, this is not good for me. We're about to get hashed up the up the booty by a 183 here. That's fine. All right, all right, all right. One more clear here. Alrighty. Let's reload. Do I have the time? Only a minute and 40 seconds, and that's assuming I don't ro low roll my, my next two magazines here. That's not good for me. All right. Yeager is pushing down to the right side a little bit here. I'm going to have to bait him or track him or something. Probably shouldn't have used my reload consumable there. Hi, Yag. Hello. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, Yag. Only a minute and 20 seconds left here. The Yag can HE splash me for a clear here. I'm going to have to see if there's anything I can do to this Yag in order to to kill him. He's just going to back up in a straight line, though. Yeah, there's no time left here. So what I can do here is... Oh, oh, nice. We baited him. We do manage to bait the Yag here. So I'm going to go for is... I got to pen all three shots here. So I'll start with one track shot. Let's wait for him to use his repair kit. Second track shot. No, really? Third track shot. Well, that's over. I don't think I have the time to kill, kill this Yag here. Yeah, I do not have the time to clear him out. Oh my gosh, this reverse speed is so bad. Oh, this sucks. I'm going to run out of time. That one messed up track shot screwed over my whole game. Really? Really? It was over anyways. I wasn't going to win. I don't go for draws. I wouldn't have had the reload there. I would not have had the reload there, sadly. It was a good try. I, I think I played that well. I didn't think that track shot was going to do zero damage, so that basically just screwed over the whole game. But 6,500 damage there. I think I did my job quite well. Um, Iron Beast here doing zero. <laughs> Emiliano over here doing zero. E4 doing one. Yeah, that's an SBMM if I've ever seen it. I did, I did my best there. Dang, that one track shot. One track shot. I, th I thought maybe I would have enough time to track him there, but he barely got the shot in onto me. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. If I'd penned that, then I probably would have just kept going around the corner, but at that point, I was just like, eh. Not really the type to go for draws. Draws suck. Man. T uh, yeah, Traverse on 57 is quite bad. It is. It is quite bad. That's probably the only drawback. I'm kind of malted, man. That game should have been a win. I don't, I don't know why on earth our E100 just sat there and let the 183 pen him. <laughs> if he had not done that, if he just sat back, we could have doubled up on the Jagdpanzer there. Maybe actually have done something, but oh well. You know, that game's in the past again. I think for the most part, I played that well. Probably what I should have done there was be less concerned with the track shots, but my primary goal was to keep that Yag to... Get that Yag to waste both his repair kits. That way I could basically track him for a third time and then pull all the way around the building so I can flank him again. Uh, but that didn't quite work out as planned, unfortunately. So, big Sag. And I was going to run out of time anyways. By the time I reloaded my next magazine, I would have had, I would have needed like 
55, 60 seconds. There was only about 45 seconds left on the clock, so I was like, dang it. <laughs> it was a good, it was a good attempt, but unfortunately it ended in a massive L. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much. Gonna poke me again? Wow. I, I, just, I, I just love it when the gun decides not to hit anywhere near where I'm aiming. Alrighty. Mr. 183 on the enemy team here is kind of overextended. Ooh, hello. So enemy team playing it kind of passively back here. I have an M60 and a lot of crossfire for support. So we should be okay in the mid for now. And my team in town is doing all right. They, they could be doing a little better. I may or may not rotate back into town to help them clear out the chief here. We will see. This could be a bad play on my part or a good play. Not really sure just yet. But I think if my allies could use the assistance over here, I'd be happy to provide it. So let's see. Oh, that's a 183. That was uh, most certainly not what I was hoping to find over on this side of the map. Let's track him. One track shot. Lovely stuff. Two track shots. Lovely stuff. And a clear. Nice. A high roll too. Awesome. Thank you to that 183 for the support there. And now we should be doing okay over here. So Chieftain's pulled up. Our E6 is pretty low. There's a 50B here as well. M60 kind of pushing up way too aggressive, but we should be all right. I think we should be all right. So, yep, the Chieftain's already getting farmed out over here. The Chieftain, like, I don't know, is he AFK? Well, what's this HE clip on? Buddy seems lost, so don't mind if I do. All right, that's 1,500 damage into the 57. Lovely stuff. <laughs> you hate to see it. You love to do it. All right, let's see if we can get another 1,500 damage in onto this 50B. Get myself up to 4,500 damage this game. That would be rather ideal, wouldn't it? Hello, 50B. Oh, no, 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 no. Not, not with this driving. Not with this driving. This dude's gonna get nuked. All right, 1HE. Lovely. 2HE. Lovely. 3HE. Oh, very lovely. Very lovely. I think someone shot him, so I only did about a thousand, but I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> that, 50, that, that chieftain was lost, and we got a dub. Let's go. 4,100 damage. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I feel better, considering we lost a couple games there. Uh, reverse speed off 57 is trash. It is pretty trash, man. It is. <laughs> What's the gun to press on this tank? It's 8 degrees. Do you just have a solid turret now? I like it. I do like the turret. Yeah, the turret's quite troll. It helps a lot. Lagged out. Now that uh, lagged out, I know the feeling. Uh, feels bad, man. Is it just me or does the time seem more popular? Or does this time seem more popular? There's a lot of likes and viewers. Well, that would be because... This is pretty early in the day. It's the weekend and the 57 Heavy is a tank that people are always very interested in because when I when I did my poll last stream to see what I should stream next, the 57 Heavy like alone earned 40% of the votes or like up to 45% of the votes out of like six different tank options. So that just goes to show that there's a lot of interest in this vehicle. I think that's why, primarily why. Versus like, you know, if Vickers Light, People will watch it just because they're curious, but people aren't really playing the Vickers Light all that much. The 57, on the other hand, a lot of people do play it. So that's why you would get probably more viewers on a stream on the 57, the Vickers, for instance. Uh, Fanish, should I do the Bulldog line or T71 line for this tank? Uh, I don't remember the tech tree. <laughs> Which one? How does it work? Um, the T49 line's fun if you just want the 49 as well for memes. And the T69 kind of sucks, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe the, uh, maybe go the T49 route just for the fun meme gameplay. But the 49 also is not always the most effective tank to play. All right, back on Port Bay, spotting up the mid here. As you can see, my meds are going town, but it does not appear that the enemy team actually came this way, which is a bit of a shocker. I would have expected their team to be here because they have a decent lineup for the side. But as you can see, most of their team is not here. Good news for me, because that means I can catch these Pepega Andes out and start clipping them when they overextend. Or at least that is what I plan on doing here in theory. Enemy TVP also seems to be just sending it. I don't know if that was a hit or not, but we will see. All right, boom, 400 damage there. Nope, that was not a hit, but we do manage to pick up a clear on him. Not really sure what's up with these. What is that? There's like three tanks in the corner of their spot. Ay, 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 man. These players are so funny. <laughs> like, what? Why are there just three wandering Andes in the enemy spawn here? And this I-7 is, like, overextended, too. Very lovely stuff. All right, I-7 is getting clipped on here, hopefully. Well, one shot. There's an E-100 over here as well. So I'm probably just going to say ignore the E-3, ignore the T-30, ignore the 183, and let's push on on their heavies. The heavies will be pretty decent farm here, so... 
Wow. Did he just get hashed or like high rolled with AP there? Because that dude just lost over 1,100 hit points. Yikes. And it's an E100 too. That's kind of crazy. Alrighty. Well, let's see. Where is Mr. I7 at? Here's Mr. I7. Hello, Mr. I7. Let me track you. What? That was that zero damage. Tree. Uh, hello. Wow, I'm getting trolled hardcore here. Love to see it. Yay. Wow, that's great. Yeah, okay, dude. And he's gonna get hash by 183 here. That's a, that's that's just a meme and a half. Or maybe not. Maybe the 183 does not know how to shoot hash. Man, the I7 side ever is so memes, man. Holy smokes. Alright. I'm not sure how that one shot ricocheted. I know like you can hit their gun and everything, but still, it's kind of crazy. Alright, well, this is gonna be like my first sub 4k game of the stream, I think. Yo, Kara, do you want to help uh, help help your boy out? Of oh my gosh, this 183 is getting so much free farm here. Ah, uh, get gun blocked. Get gun blocked. Oh my gosh, don't tell me he uses his reserve shell. Watch him use his reserve shell for this. Oh, he didn't. He waited to reload another one. Is the C100 gonna die? I think he's gonna die before the one. Oh my gosh, I did no damage this game. So yeah, <laughs> talented enemies, very talented. Uh, they had three TD sitting in spawn corner, a TVP all over through town, and two heavies wandering in the middle. <laughs> That's a meme game if I've ever seen one. I kind of feel bad for the enemy Fenric there, because that dude, uh... This dude farmed 3k. I hate seeing behavior like that, though, because it's like, Oh, I sat in the back of our spawn in Port Bay, and I farmed 3,000 damage. New personal record. I'm going to start sitting in the back of spawn now on this map in my meds. <sighs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Fanus doesn't play this game. He gives us a class. Oh. I don't know. My classes are pretty trash, but I do my best. <laughs> New Batch Bear are just whack games. I mean, it's whack games all around. Like, uh, you saw a few games back, I had the most diabolical teams as well. And uh, it's just kind of going back and forth at this rate, which is fine. Better than it just being all stacked, terrible teams on one side. Uh, hey, Fanis, do you know what happened to Juicy Tender Steak? He ain't streaming anymore. I believe he retired from Blitz content creation to focus on other aspects of life. Very respectable, but I am sad to see him go because uh, me and Juicy go back a long way. <laughs> Alrighty. Do I want to go this way? No, I have no like proper support here. The enemy team are sending their allies here. So, I don't want to be that... <sighs> I don't want to be that dude that just abandons the side, but I can't really trust in my team right now. They're basically a 50-50 split, and I'm going to be the differentiator between whether or not my team is fully split or not. The good news is this 2 and 5 b is massively overextending here. So one quick shot into the 2 and 5 b Dang it, I was aiming for the track shot. Easy repair kit. Uh, but maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't worth. He should have lost 1,200 there, but only the 800. I wanted to keep him in place because I thought he was going to run across, but then he turned in instead of pulling forward there. So, my team is definitely going to get wrecked on the right side. The good news is, though, this 2 and 5 b is a very silly Andy here. And, um, he's the type, like, you shoot him once and they just got to keep yellowing you. Um, so, yeah. Wow. Uh, that, that, that's crazy, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty. My teammates are doing a very good job on the flank. I'll probably join up with the 60 TP here. I don't want to push into the right side. It's too much of a possibility that I'll just get straight up YOLO pushed, but with the 60 TP here, that's a bit of a different story. I can definitely pull through here and start dealing some nasty things to the enemy tanks here. So you can see M60 is a one shot. Let's pick up that clear. Very valuable clear for my allies here. Mouse is going to sit there and side scrape against me, which is quite adorable because he is not resetting the cap here. And you know what? Man's got an idea. Man has got himself an idea. It's called a T124. Another American, fantastic American tank here. Hello, brother. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, yeah. Give me that 644 HE max roll. Yes. Yes, my HE max roll. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. I might have got her IS7 killed there, but, you know, it's already game over. <laughs> Two minutes and 20 seconds. Very tough game. Yapping boy? What's a yapping boy? <laughs> what do you mean? Did I do like three and a half to 4k, I think? Oh, 4.2. 4.3 almost. Okay, I'll take it. 
Yeah, man, 57 is still pretty good at tank. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. It's a very strong tier 10 auto letter. You, the only thing you have to master in this tank is knowing when to reload your magazine instead of just like trying to hold your shells for too long sometimes and really knowing how to position and rotate around with the vehicle. You get those two aspects right, it's not too bad to play. I think the biggest mistake you definitely can make is just relying too much on its armor or over aggressing in the vehicle. Fairness, I wouldn't be 60% without you, so your classes are working, especially on the 57. Oh, I'm very happy to hear that. Thank you. It does make me happy to hear that um, my content does help players uh, learn the game and stuff like that. Fairness, you you know Uf Benjat. Yes, I met him in the 2019 Twister Cup. He was very quiet, but I don't think he spoke much English. He, he's, he's cool. He's cool. So, yeah. <laughs> Yapono. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, it's a rat 71. Put a quick shot into the rat 71 here. The BZ is not pushing up. Rat 71 is still being quite aggressive, and the gun depression is rather awkward on this angle, but I can get another shot in here, so I'm gonna do it. I have a feeling if the grill crossed corner. Okay, the grill's on the right side. I think he just shot our type 61. You can see right to the side of the turret. So we know where the grill's positioning is, and it is not in that corner. It's up on that rock. Once again, Always try and pay attention to those little details. It can help so much, right? If you if you don't know where that grill is, then you're scared. You don't want to do anything. But in this scenario, we know precisely where this Gorilla 15 is. And so now I have an option before me. Oh, that's not good. Their team is blitzing through the front here. Okay, that is very not good. Our 4005 is next on the on the chopper chopping block here. I'm gonna see if I can go back and help. I do have to be aware of that grill's positioning, but we need to make sure my team have support back here. Because the moment that 405 dies, we're going to have three basically full HP tier 10s. And yeah, the 75T is practically a tier 10 on our rear here, which is not good for us. So I'm going to push up and see if I can start dealing some damage here to like the 50B. Okay, apparently the 50B is out of my range here, but there we go. One more shot to the 50B. Let's HG the side of his turret here. Oh, 635. Okay, so I am... I have managed to bring the 50B down to roughly a two shot. I kind of have a Yag for some cover fire over here. But it's not really a lot. And the Yag is rotating the opposite direction. My primary objective here is not even to really be a damage dealer, but to be a support vehicle. And to provide my allies with the support they need on this side. Uh, hopefully the Yag turns around, because if he's not cautious, he will become French Toast up there. And so I'm going to wait to see if the enemy team overextend a little bit. Because I still have to watch out for that Grill's Crossfire. That's why I can't extend too much here. This is uh, a very not good scenario to be in, though, unfortunately. All right, there's the 752. There's the M60. One dollar and got my information. Cents from Martox and 11. Plus one of your Plus classes one helped one your me be better 50%er. Be better oh, 50 thank you very much. I'm happy to hear that the uh, the streams and stuff are helping helping with your gameplay. Thank you very much. Do appreciate that. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. No. Dang, I can't do anything here with my team doing what they're doing. Okay, I only have one option left here. Oh, that 752 is going to be such a problem, though. Yeah, it's Joe. The 752 is just going to pull up and kill this dude. Welcome to this map when you don't have a med side. A good, strong med side. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright. I'm just going to farm up some damage here. Because I don't have anything else I can do in this scenario. May as well get to 3,000 damage and just accept my fate and die. At this point. That's, that's all I can do. Hello, fine sir. Jump on me. Yes, I respect you. I respect you for jumping. You know that? I, I legitimately do. Oh, no. Oh, I'm dead. I am so dead here. One more shot, please. Come on, come on, come on. One more shot. Yes. Yes, one more shot. Let's go. We got the farm in. All right. Nothing I can do about that game. Absolutely nothing. That game was over. Uh, I probably should have noticed that our flank was in a bit of a weak spot, but I didn't expect the 752 and a 50B to both Blitzkrieg that flank. So, my two options, one was to try and stall the rear, and if the Yag had sat back on the hill and cover fired, we actually probably could have re-pushed the flank, but since he didn't, oh well. I did 4,600 damage there, so that's fine. Our 260 did... Yeah, 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 okay, 46% win rate with 85,000 games almost, that's, uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, basically our 260 just didn't exist. <laughs> uh boy. Thanks for your stream. <laughs> my pleasure. Hey, Sheriff, can you stream with Ufinja? He doesn't have to talk. That would be interesting. Well, here's the problem. <laughs> Ufinja plays 
uh, Tanks Blitz. I play World of Tanks Blitz. <laughs> Those are two different games now, ran by two different companies. Uh, I would have to, I don't think I could even get a press account on the CIS um, version of World of Tanks because, yeah, my CC uh, program is not applicable over there. Unless he's on NA or EU, maybe I could do that, but I don't know. I usually don't do uh, like uh, c collab streams just because I like to talk a lot in my commentary and it's really difficult. Even if he's not talking, his audience would just have to hear me yapping unless he mutes me. <laughs> his audience would have to hear me yapping the whole time. I don't, I don't know if that's really something that's super fun on their part, but you know, if he's, if he's down and wants to, maybe. I, 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 I probably wouldn't mind just because throwback for old time's sake, you know? All right, so we know the 50B is positioning. It's the same 50B from last game, by the way. Um, my whole team is kind of sitting in spawn. We have a 752 here. I'm probably not going to overextend. That'd be the fastest way to get myself killed, but I will pull on up to this bush here and see if I can start spawning out the mid. I have a feeling the enemy team are going to pressure this site pretty hardcore. And so I'm going to do what I usually recommend, which is kind of set yourself up to receive the push instead of pushing into them. Really, through the bush. Through the bush. And of course the 422 is just gonna shoot me for free because why not? We have three medium lights here. Not one of them has tried to take corner. No way. No way my man's is actually doing this. Ain't no way. He's actually going for it. Of course he hits that on the move. What is the luck? Oh, he hit the perfect little weak spot there. That's crazy. Uh, but the 50B just deleted himself. All right, meds, you guys are certified useless. Okay. Let me see if I can rotate back and help deal with heavy side. This is not going anywhere on this side because my medium tanks are not counter pushing. So I'm gonna help our 183 and our IS-4 clear out this Yon VKB here. We should be able to do that. Hopefully the TI-2 doesn't spot me while crossing. It is a slightly risky crossing on my part, uh, but since the IS-4 didn't get spotted, I don't think the TI-2 is in a position to spot me either. So the VKB is now dead. Very good stuff. The Yo is pulling back a little bit here. I don't know if he's on a full magazine reload. I'm gonna assume he is. All right, two shots. Let's put a third shot into him. Nice and pull back. So it puts me at 2,400 damage so far. There's the version four as well. So that's good news. And this Yoshi should get taken out pretty shortly by the 183. So I'm just going to start rotating right away. Not bad. We should win this game, I think. We still have two meds sitting in the back of spawn, which is just like crazy. <laughs> you guys don't really need to all sit in the back of spawn, my mans. But uh, you know how it be with these players. You know how it be. So I do have meds to cover this side when the V4 pushes in, so I might start pressuring this version 4. I'd rather not clip him with his with his reactive armor activated, but we gotta start killing him sooner or later. This is the fastest way for me to do it, so. Another shot from this, into this version 4. Oh my gosh. <laughs> get, them, get them piggies fatness, have a great stream. Thank you very much, Revenge. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the donation. And uh, hopefully we will get them piggies. All right. TI2 cannot one tap me. Once the 422 is out, it'll be okay. They still have a Sheridan somewhere. Which I'm not really sure where. Is he spawn sniping or something? Hello, Piggy. Welcome to the uh, simulator of. Uh, oh, let's check, let's check on the 57 Star Trooper speed. Nice. Oh, don't tell me they're, they're Sheridan's AFK. That one homie underscore one from the noob clan. Dude's gotta be AFK with a username like that, right? Gotta be AFK. Ain't no way he not. <laughs> Let's see what uh, that one homie one in the noob clan is doing. Oh, yep, go figure. There he is. Hello, one shot, two shots, three shot. That puts me at 5,000 damage that game. It didn't feel like a 5.8k damage game. Mind you, 1,200 of that damage was late game, but I mean, it's so so easy to farm damage in this thing. Previa pro. Salam. Uh, Vicar's name is Camper, lol. Is it actually? Hold up. Camper. <laughs> it's Camper HDZ in the Tyson clan. You're right. Dude is a confirmed camper. Huh. <laughs> uh, most of the time, <clears throat> Pierce from fan has said they would often uh, talk over each other sometimes accidentally and it just wasn't smooth. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the point. <laughs> that that was the, like that was the last time I tried doing a collab stream and I was just like it just doesn't work with my commentary. It's fine if I'm like platooning one of my clanmates and he's just like uh oh, need need help uh killing this target or something right and just like some casual 
co uh, communication between two platoon partners, and then I can still do my commentary, and it's fine. But when you have two YouTubers doing commentary at the same time, it can get really messy if it's not organized. <laughs> Uh, hey, Fennis, can you showcase the KPZ Panzer 68 at the end of the stream? It's currently in store. I might read your comment about it. I appreciate it a lot for the stream. Um, what's the KPZ Panzer 68? Is that... What, what tier is that tank? Is that tier 8? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't play tier 8s enough. I'm going to go spot Millside. It's safer to go Hillside, but you always need someone to provide a f like spotting over on the side of the map, and so I'm going to be that... I'm going to be that person. I'm going to be the guinea pig here. All right, one shot into the BZ here. One heat shot into him here. Second heat shot, sadly, only penning one out of three. Then I'm going to turn my turret up and immediately back down, keeping awareness for that hill ridge and that hill ridge. When you are playing mill side, it's really important to try and predict roughly where those TDs are at so you don't make any silly pokes and get yourself nuked. Now, the Super Bonker... Oh, oh wow, it's the, the 752 from last game that was on my team. He's probably not going to do too well this game either. So we know where the E5 is. We know where the STB and, you know, the other meds are. We know where the E4 is as well. That's a W. Um, this E5 is currently unspotted. The VZ is pushed up quite aggressively. Okay, my allies are getting crossfired out already. Probably by the enemy E5 would be my guess. I want to stay unspotted and provide support from here. If my team can clear a hillside, we're chilling. But I need some of the spot hillside for starters. Please don't spot me. Thank you. Yeah, okay, so the 752 is one of the tanks. There has to be an E5 up here. Okay, no, it's not the E5 farming us, though. Interesting. This is going to be a bit of a stalemate on this side. Fortunately, my allies are doing a good job cooking up on the med side here. All right, so it's a 263. It's a 263 sniping on the standard TD hill. Good to know. Well, this is not going to be much of a damage farming game for your boy. I'm afraid to say. But that is the sad truth of things. We can use this rock as cover from the 263 here. I'll let the IS-4 do the spotting and the Super Conqueror do the spotting here. Because my goal right now is just to deal damage, it's not to get myself killed. So, let's put one- oh, oh, come on IS-4, come on. Okay, yeah, retrack. Nice, huge nuke by my allies there. Lovely stuff, this VZ is gonna overextend. Let's track him again. Track him again, nice, and pull back. Perfect stuff. That's where it's good to have that interclip reload consumable. Now I can just pull back on a reload. I should be about, what, 1600 damage right now? I don't know. I think I only had about one shot before. This dude's making a silly mistake, and he gets taken down for it. Now, technically, we could just push the top side here, but it is a bit risky with those 263 crossfires. And I believe the Yo is back there with the object. So, let's see. Although, if we can kill this VZ, that would be huge for my team, so I might just go for it. All right, VZ turret. One shot missed, unfortunately. We can't really pull out more than this here. Dang it, this rock is just perfectly placed to block me. Okay, we managed to get a ricochet from this man's here. There we go. All right. One hat shot. Very good. And second hat shot. There we go. Now I can pull back in the safety here, and I'll be able to push the object 752 and yo. Once my count is reset, so I don't bleed out to the 263 just yet. Okay. Nice. Let's go for the 752 first, because he's the nastier tank to deal with. And we did a pretty good job clearing out this side. Fortunately, our three heavies did not do- Oh, the yo's not even here anymore. Our three heavies did not do too terrible on this end of the map. Now, I'm a bit concerned about pushing into a 263. That's usually a spell for disaster, but at the same time, I would like to kill the 75. No need to kill the 752. He is already dead. Uh, let's see. Cappy. I think capping B low-key kind of the better play here, rather than pushing into a 263. And the reason I want to cap B is so we can force the enemy team kind of into us rather than overextending. So it looks like our IS-4 is going to go for the cap already, so that's kind of a W. Uh, where's my last ally? The Bashal Theon's pretty low hit points, but he is still here. I'm going to go for B still. And let's hope that 263 pushed up with his team towards the hill instead of staying in the back of spawn. But we'll have to, we'll have to find out in due course. For now, B cap's the priority. You know, if the IS-4 can get the B cap, I'm not even going to bother trying to take it because it's going to be a bit difficult to get out if they all pull up on a ridge up there. So maybe I will go back towards the middle here and spot up our spawn lane. Now we should be okay, although we are still down on cap by a pretty significant margin, but it's 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 not the worst case scenario here. This E5 has done messed up big time anyways, so as long as I don't low roll here, we should be good. All right, one track shot, two track shot, three track shot. Perfect average roll there for the clear. 
We can see where the 263 is at as well. Good stuff. As long as we avoid the 263, I think we'll be okay. And here's going to be the problem that I face, though. Is 263 could go for either C and B. And so I'm going to have to defend C or B cap. My allies can deal with A if they want. My goal right now is going to be defending this, this mid area. So that's precisely what I'm going to do for now. I'll spot up this side first. They can cap A. I'll play defense. I might die for this, but as long as I can prevent them from getting a cap, my team will have a chance of winning this. So, let's see. Okay, we're on A. The 263 has not shown up yet. He's got to go for C or B sooner or later, is my guess. The Yo is just a Narnia, apparently. Nice. Okay. There's the Yo. Okay. So, here's the M5 Yo. Bop. Quick shell to him there. I trade one for one here. It's not the worst case scenario. Nice. I'm going to save a repair kit in case my ammo or something gets damaged on the third shell. All right. Now, I'm still safe from the 263, and I managed to stall the cap pressure here, so my teammates now have a cap advantage. Even if I get taken out sooner or later, we should be okay. That 263 is in Narnia anyways. So, that's why I just play defense, right? At this time, I'm going for a win, not damage farming, and this was the easiest, most secure way for me to do that. So, after we kill this dude, it's Jover. Alrighty. Just like that, piece of cake game. There we go. Almost 5,000 damage, and we do get the Supremacy Cap win. Shout out to both the IS-4 and Grill. They were pretty good at retaking caps there. That basically made the game a whole lot easier than if I was trying to deal, deal with all the caps on my own. Um, so, yeah. I'll take it. Good game. Uh, Fennis, you know Zablin Lisa. Of course. Sasha. <laughs> no, eh? I don't know if it's Sasha. Zlabina. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Moi drug. <laughs> um... Fattest, what do you study at uni? Well, I'm finished studying, but I, I study business analytics. Bit of data science, bit of business stuff, you know. Um, can we get an updated 777 stream since it's on top shop currently? Ooh, I'm not a fan of the 777. It's good, but... Uh, Sounds so 07, 07. <laughs> um, yes, 1200 was perfect. I know, exactly an average roll, which is crazy because I low-rolled the first, like, two shots there. I, I He was on, like, 420 or 440 HP, but I high-rolled the third kill shot. Let's go. Nikkei's uh, hosting Ponyo Ponyo. I uh, do know those two as well. Okay. Once again, uh, I'm, I don't remember hosting as well. I think it, it was he was he part of Ace Ventura? I definitely I met Nikkei's Upanja and Slabina uh, at different Twister Cups in the 2018 2019 Twister Cups. But uh, yeah, and I know Slabina has like a what 200,000 plus subscriber YouTube channel. He's doing quite well. <laughs> All right. So, Townside. I don't usually like playing Townside. I'm going to make an exception this once because we are on the bad spawn in a Supremacy matchup. That doesn't always bode very well. I'm going to have to cross here fast so I don't get nuked. So, I'd rather not risk it too much in the mid in case the enemy team do an aggressive A push here. Which, it, it appears they're not. That's good news. What the heck are you doing, buddy? Yeah, take, take more damage in return, you silly man. You silly, silly man. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Okay! Team, what you do? Okay, type E35. Conf Panzer 183. Y'all just lend them 103 poke there for free. That's crazy. Although the grill did get nuked. He's on 300 HP. I got nuked too, but his nuke was a lot worse. Deserved. For, for playing like such a rat there. Alrighty. So here's what I'm gonna do. Probably just back up a little bit over here. And they're going to back up to try shooting our Type 71 here, I think, shortly. So I'm just going to sit back and provide support from here. Because I don't have to overextend to deal that damage. And they're going to be pushing out into us soon enough, I think. Come on, M103. Boys, time to make your rotation back. Time to make your rotation back. There we go. Okay, Type. Oh my gosh, Type. You really just had to park in my way here. That's that's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. Let's, let's put a quick heat shell into this VK here. Second heat shell to the VK. Second shot to them, 103. Just playing town support, and I should still be able to get a pretty decent game out of this. <laughs> Fortunately, the Type 71 has such a rat armor profile. This man is able to... Okay, never mind. He just he just dumb messed up. He got tungsten eight, uh, penned and caught on fire. It's okay. We will win this side. The XM and everything else is in Nernia, so we should be okay here. All right. Show us the way of side scraping in a VK-72, my mans. Thank you. 
Vote for fatness is the best streamer. Yes or no? Anonymous, thank you very much for the tip. Vote for fatness is the best streamer. Yes or no? Um, I would not say I'm the best, but I would say I'm not terrible either. <laughs> Uh, there's some things, like, sometimes my gameplay can be a bit lackluster while I'm streaming, so that's kind of an L. Sometimes I lose track of my commentary, also an L. Um, but for the most part, I think I do a pretty decent job at streaming. Not really sure where the 57 Heavy's at, to be honest. I'm gonna assume this man may be AFK, which case, W. I'm not used to seeing gorillas play aggressively in town like that. thought for sure my man's would be sniping. That's what most Gorilla 15s would do in this scenario like this. Well, hello there! See, this man has never loaded in. You see how his gun is pointing straight forward? He never loaded into the game. But he probably just had terrible internet connection. So, poor dude. He just, he just never got to appear in the battle. I feel bad for him. Maybe, may, maybe his internet crashed or something. Who knows? Kill stealers hate them. <laughs> you play very well and I remember you very well. Ah, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Side scraping 72. I know, right? See, we still able to get 4k damage out of that. I mean, that's what the... Uh, okay, true. I did get 1200 on an AFK at the end. I, I admit, I admit that was a bit dirty. But I was still easily able to get, you know, even in a scenario where I kind of lost most of my hit points off the bat 4k. Which just goes to show, really, the most important part is just being able to position your autoloader to be effective, regardless of how healthy your tank is. Of course, having more health and more armor is always beneficial. Fatness, have you been to Germany? Um, I've had layovers in Germany. Um, when I was in Lithuania a few months ago, I had a layover in Frankfurt, which was nice. I always like Frankfurt because, the, dude, the Frankfurt airport has this really good sandwich place. Like, sandwiches in Germany are on another level. When, like, airport rest, like, air, basically airport pastry sandwich making shops and stuff like that, they just have, like, the best sandwiches there. And so whenever I'm in Frankfurt, which I've only been there twice during layovers, um, I always make sure to go to that one sandwich place. I forget what it's called, but it's been around like since the 1800s, apparently the business. And it's just like, you'd never find a sandwich place that nice in an American airport. I'm straight up, it, it's cool. <laughs> so I haven't really been to Germany. I've only been to the airports, but maybe one day I will make it to Germany. That'd be cool, yeah? Oh, it's a rat chat. Put one shot into the rat chat here. It's an STB as well. Unfortunately, that one ricocheted and oh my. Maybe team being quite aggressive here. Let's put an engine deck shot towards really the- What is this STB even doing, man? Where did he pen me? I hit the weak spot on my turret. Also, apparently STB engine deck, even though it's gray, is an auto ricochet. Ain't that just fascinating? You know, <laughs> the enemy team are in terrible positioning though. They are actually in terrible positioning. It's going to be Jover for their team very fast at this rate. I mean, look Look at this 113 tunnel. This dude is, like, completely lost. Completely lost. My only concern is going to be our flank here. So, yep, there we go. There's the version 4, as I predicted. That's why I backed out using this rock as cover. I was concerned about the flank, and I'm glad I didn't overextend there. Alrighty. Well, hello there. One shot into you, good sir. And second shot into you, even with a broken gun. My pleasure. Okay. We are down two caps, but they are down terribly on positioning and hit points here. Like, we still have so many hit points in the game right now. I think we'll be cool to win this. I just gotta start dealing with this version 4 soon enough here. And I can't back up too much thanks to the Gorilla 15's positioning. But I have a Rat 71 for support, so we should be okay, all things considered. Alright, one shot into this version 4. Low version 4. Yep, yep, two shots. I'm just gonna wait till I can get easy AP pen shots here. Boom, there we go. Nice little nuke. My rear is still safe. Version 4 got full nuked there. The type's still in a good positioning. And what I'll probably get ready to do here, because I'm, I'm, I'm a greedy little damage farmer, you know how it is, is uh, start dealing with this M6 Yo before he gets completely full health. So, yeah, the M6 Yo is, is about to go bye-bye here. No, 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 no. More gun depression, more gun depression, please. Thank you. All right, one shot. Two shot. Dedge. Yeah, I should have saved my shot for the STB kill. Oh, hello, Grill. I swear, I'm not here. You do not see me. <laughs> you do not see me. I am not here. No. <laughs> Wait, where's their object at? Don't tell me he capped A or is AFK. What? Oh, no, no, no. Their object is basically dead. I completely forgot they had an object, to be honest. Well, it's just GG. Did not farm this game. Their team was pretty diabolical, not gonna lie. This Kara's about to clear the object out as he pulls into C. 
Prepared by the object. It's Jover. So Jover Farmman's here. Well, hello, Mr. Grill. Ah, I don't have enough elevation here. The 263 about to destroy him anyways. All right, target practice. No, not quite. Well, that was an easy game. I didn't farm anything there. <laughs> Great, and I'm still watching you. Ah, thank you. Yeah, it is Bart, but like how to throw curveballs at us. Huh? All right, 32. I mean, I still did top, but it wasn't the best game, to be fair. I, I missed out on a lot of damage farming opportunities there. Silly me. <laughs> What's going on in chat? Ooh, Shell. Sorry to hear that. Wish you the best of luck. That's that's always very rough. Yeah. And uh oof, yeah. That's that's not fun. Have you in my thoughts, my dude. Hope hope, hope everything goes well for you. <laughs> okay. Let's see, what are we gonna do here? I'm thinking of just pushing town, Loki. They have a really strong hill team. My team kind of wants to go town, so why not? Let's let's be. Oh snap! Oh snap! We got the ricochets. Alrighty, it's gonna be the first Andy to poke me. Wow, that's just fantastic, ain't it? That's just fantastic. That first shot should never have missed. It's okay, I'm in a pretty secure position though. Wait for the C-75 to shoot, then I'm gonna cross. So let's wait for that to happen. All right, 57 just fired. Time to cross onto the safer position. Hopefully the 752 doesn't get in my way too much here. 752, please don't side hug me. It makes no sense. You're, you're literally gonna get me shot here for no reason, my dude. Alrighty, let's see. What can we do now? I wonder if we can HE splash this. Oh yeah, you totally can. 200 damage there and 26 on the second one. But hey, at least one of them worked. <laughs> Made him a guaranteed two shot at least. 268 is also pretty low. I didn't, wow, their 57 got nuked already. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill this 268, kill the E75 and then start pressuring a little bit more if I want more damage before this game is over. Uh, the 268 is getting safe now, unfortunate. Oh wait, but I can be a damage farmer from back here. One shot into this man's. Two shots into this man's. Three shots into this man's. Lovely. That puts me at 2.6. <laughs> so easy. Oh my goodness. Dude was just driving in a straight line. And her 752 is still big chilling over here. Oh my goodness. Is that a Jagdtiger? Let's go, Jagdtigers. Yo, buddy's shooting HE back at me. You know, I respect the commitment to uh, the payback here. Alrighty. Wait, why didn't I just pick up that kill? You got him, right, BZ? There you go. Good stuff, BZ. Oh, enchanté. E S T B. Is he in the open? No, he's getting griefed up there. Well, I should have just killed that dude. <laughs> I thought maybe the 752 was going to do it, so I was going to turn initially, but then I realized I should not because the 57 traverse is so bad. I didn't have time to traverse back. Well, not bad. I don't know why their team actually went town, to be honest. They did not have the best te team for town. I mean, I guess these sort of five moisture would suck on the hill, but we'll see. If and as I have the weirdest game session today, uh, yesterday night, I went 76% solo winner in 39 games in tier 10 with 2,700 average damage, and I couldn't get over 3k because it was just steamrolls. I mean, as you can see, steamrolls seem to be pretty commonplace right now. So not surprised, but hey, at least you got the dubs, right? Fantasy, do you think I should sell my Karo 30B and STRVK to get the 777? Um, Karo and 30B are both very good collector medium tanks. I personally would not sell them. Personally. Next time you come to Lithuania, let me know. The best bars and clubs on my account. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I'm not sure who this is because it's an anonymous tip. If you do want me to know who you are, uh, you can always enter a username into the donation area or what display name you want to show up. But uh, thank you very much for the five dollar tip there. And yeah, yeah, uh, if I uh, if I if I return to Lithuania again, although it's like twenty hour flights each direction, so it's a bit of a a mental pain. Um, I'll definitely have to make sure I'll remember who you are. I hit you up. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yoink. Yes, fifty seven turret armor goes burr. I should have fired heat at the last shell, but it's okay. I didn't reset C, so that means they have multiple tanks on that cap there. And what is also concerning me is the lack of support I have on this end. So I'm probably going to rotate out just a little bit here. 
for a position with a better crossfire where I won't be fully overextended. And we'll see if I can... Okay, so there's the Chieftain Mark VI. Good news. And there's the 100 as well. So this is good news for me here. Oh, there's the 100. There we go. Managed to bait the 100 again. Another heat shell to the 100. As you can tell, you 100 turret armor going crazy there versus 340 standard heat, which is why 340 heat is one of the goats of the game as a standard round type. We're definitely going to lose the A side. And uh, since the A side is going to be an L, my best option here would actually be to push this side with the Conqueror to clear out the Chieftain and, and uh, E100 as quickly as I physically can. So, there we go. That's what we're going to do. Oh, snap. Please don't hit me, Yag. Okay, I'm going to go for the C100 first. He's more of a priority to kill right now uh, than anything else. And he might pen me here. That's fine. I just need to pen one AP to make him a guaranteed two shot. Okay, as long as I don't low roll this next one. Good. Perfect. You managed to clear his tank out there. So good to always have some degree of target prioritization in a scenario like that. I noticed we're going to lose A, so I really wanted the pressure this side as much as I physically could in order just to take that kind of this whole area's engagement off of my team. And uh, the Super Bunker did get wrecked. The Yag's pre-aiming for me, so I can't really do too much about that. I'm going to rotate back instead. And let's see. Okay, Conqueror. Get nice and safe, my dude. It's fine. You can do that. And where is this Yag? Oh, there's the 75. Let's see if we can aim for a track shot here. Unfortunately, no track shot. Oh, there's the Yag. Okay, he's pre-aiming for me. I'd really rather not poke a Yag Panzer. Do you manage to bait him, though, for a shot there? There we go, two shots. And what I'm going to do now is rotate in while the Yag's on a reload. So I can start dealing with this E75 and other vehicles like that. And he should be on a reload for a few more seconds here. The 268 is going to be a priority kill for us for sure. The problem is going to be this Yag's positioning. It's going to kind of block us in over here. And uh, this dude's just going to get himself killed, basically. So that's a bit unfortunate. Um, and what do I do now? So, let's pull through here. My priority right now will be the Patton and the 268. So, there's the 268. Of course, that one ricochets. And watch me low roll the next kill shot here. Yep. 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 Nice meme. Nice meme. Thank you, Trash RNG there. Really appreciate that. Nice HE, dude. <laughs> Why, Conqueror? Why? Oh my gosh, my whole team lost A. I made all the right rotations there, but then I got trolled on trying to kill the 268. I had to pressure and pick up a kill there. Uh, because... Yeah, because we were going to lose the cap if I didn't pick up the kills, and the Yag was the least of my worries in that scenario. Like, holy... What was that team, man? Conqueror did three shots. Three and a quarter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is happening? W gameplay. It was a W until the end where the gun just decided it hates me and it's not going to hit anything. You know, the 57 needs radical calibration too. Let's do it, Wargaming. I'm, I'm kidding. It doesn't need radical calibration, Wargaming. Don't give it. If you're going to give any tech ready cal, give it to the 50B. <laughs> <clears throat> right now, I'm playing on the North American server. UConn always with the rough teams. Yeah, apparently UConn teams are just not built. Nice. Apparently, no one knows how to play UConn anymore. <laughs> Like, why, how did my team like get completely dominated in the A side is my question. When the E100, the Chieftain, the E75, and, and like all, you know, some of their bigger, more scary tanks were all out of the fight over there that we should not have lost a that badly. I just play 140 for almost three hours. This tank is crazy. It can be good. It can be good, but it's it can be very team dependent. That's the only problem with the 140. I guess all tanks are a bit team dependent, but the 140 more so, and it's also very map dependent. Like you get onto the wrong map and a very dug in enemy team, it sucks. There's nothing you can do about it. Alrighty, enemy team already have players on B. I might actually go to D side here. 131. So let my know next time when come a Lithuania. <laughs> no game just will get fun. Alright, sounds like a plan. Thank you very much. Uh Sorry, one second. Let me read your username again. This I7 got caught out, so I want to nuke him. Perfect. Almost 1,200 damage exactly. 13 tank, uh, Tinkistas. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, if you're on my Discord server or something, I will hit you up next time I am maybe in Lithuania. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going back there or not for a while, so we'll see. All right, let's see. Let's see. 
Oh, da, 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 da. This is quite the dug and fight here. There's an IS-7. Ooh, wee, we hit those. Come on, poke forward again, IS-7. Hear it. I dare you to. You know what, actually? My team are in a bit of a crossfire here. I don't know how I feel about that. The Kron's dug in. The WZ is going to be hard to kill. The TVP's back here. He's shooting at this dude over here. Let's see if we can spot the TVP at least. The TVP pulled back since he's on a long reload. That's good to know. The bad news is my teammates are still, like, completely in Narnia right now. Okay, what is this IS-7 doing? You know what, I'm not gonna worry about the IS-7 for now. Priority is gonna de definitely be this TVP. Can I push this TVP here? It's really risky, but I we need to get this TVP out of here. He's crossfiring out all my teammates. So I am going to proceed to start pressuring him a little bit here. Alright, one shot into the TVP here. I'm just gonna dunk down and kill him, basically. What? Ain't no way! No way, man! How did that miss? Sometimes RNG really do hate you, huh? Alrighty. Like, go for it. Go go for the track shots, my dude. That's right. Aren't you aren't you just the most talented player ever, TVP? Teammates, can you like, I don't know, help me out over on this? Oh my gosh, my team are just gonna lose to triple cap at this point. Okay, I'm getting trolled. I am getting actually trolled here. Holy smokes, man. <laughs> what is this gun? Why is it decided to start hating me these last few games? Team is still losing this. I need to pack 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 up and get C cap. Can I can I stall C? Actually, it might be more valuable to HE clip this dude if I can. One shot. Two shot. Reload. Come on, come on, come on. WZ. Oh, I need to tell him to get B. I need to tell him to get B. Get B. It's too late, I think. Yeah, the only option I have is to kill this 50B and he's gonna be safe. It's Jover. I hate supremacy sometimes. In games like this, like, how did my team lose three caps? How was I the only one that flanked back to clear the TVP out? <laughs> like, come on, man. Oh my goodness. If the gun wasn't trolling me so much there, it would have been maybe a win. I don't think so. They still had too many cap points. But uh, 4.7, 4.6k damage dealt. It was okay. The problem was like the Leo did two, oh, 42%. That explains. Uh, I'm going to turn Supremacy off. I, I usually never play Supremacy. I only keep it on in stream so the queues don't get diabolically long. Um, but this is like a couple times now where we've lost because of Supremacy pressure and I couldn't just play a long game to try and get a win. So I don't like that. Um, is the NA server way easier than EU? I mean, I know it's easier, but I don't know how much. No, NA server is generally not easier. If I was on my own account right now, these games are probably a lot harder. Um, with, when the current matchmaker, but the NA was, I would not say the NA is server is necessarily easier than EU. It just plays very differently. Fantasy, I just got the STRVK from an awesome container. What is your opinion? Um... It's a pretty mid vehicle. That's my opinion. Afternoon, Agent 47. Good afternoon. Good to see you here. Uh, my opinion on the STRVK is that currently it's pretty bad. I Two would rather play T95 E6 afternoon. or Chieftain Mar 6 or heck, even at T125 in some scenarios. But there's just not a lot of reasons for me right now to view the STRVK as a valid tank to be playing. This T22 is insane. What the heck? Okay, my RNG is insane. What the heck as well? Hey, yo. Oh my goodness. Dude, these yellows are actually something else, aren't they? I don't really want to cross with the 60 TP pre-aiming for me, but he's not going to pull up at the 1-1 there, and I want to pressure this TVP out of corner, so we should be good. <laughs> that... That's a different HRF on EU account. Oh, no, 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 no. The only his royal fatness that that is like legitimately me is my own main account. His royal fatness on NA. Spelled with an L, not any capitalized I's. That is me. Nothing else is going to be me. Just thought I'd let you guys know. Because sometimes there's some impersonator accounts out there. That can get a little annoying. Especially when they misbehave. 
All right, this Yag is in a terrible position, so... Oh, nice. Engine deck fire. Oof, 1350. Love to see it. Always go for them fires if you can, especially if something like a Yigaru is showing its whole engine deck to you. And I believe this TVP is being a bit of a nuisance back here. So let me see if I can rotate back and deal with him slightly. We're, we're fine and dug in over there. I don't think we'll lose that side too fast here. But if this T30 goes down, this TVP is allowed to just chill on the flank. It could be very problematic for us. So. Hello, TVP. All right. One high explosive shell. Good stuff. Two high explosive shells. Good stuff. Let's go for a third HE shell. There we go. Able to HE clip out that TVP there. So perfect for me. And let's reload and get ready to start pressuring maybe the Sheridan here soon. Who's also within one clip range for me. So just got to cross safely here. Make sure the 60 TP doesn't have any easy shots on me. Perfect. And uh, I'm not quite sure. Oh, he popped, popped tungs in the trench. Shoot me. Okay, that's where the T-30 is at. And where is the E-75 at? That's the last tank I have to worry about. So, the Sheridan's going to be pushing forward here. I'm going to start pressuring the Sheridan pretty hard for. For all, he has a Sheridan. And he has one clip range for me. So, pop. He gets taken out there. Not really worth it. I'll just track him in place. I can guarantee the clip kill on him in a moment anyways. So, let's do that. Plus, our T-30 is about to bonk this dude real hardcore. Yikers, he got bonked. Get bonked. All right. Oh, well, hello there, T-30. Yo, you got him, buddy? You know what? I'm gonna be a- I'm gonna be a team- Oh, dang. I actually don't have gun depression here! What is that nonsense? One shot. Two shot. Three shot. Permatract. Buddy is getting cooked. And my damage greedy looking self already has an- So many AFKs today on both teams. My team, the enemy team. There's like AFKs everywhere. It's crazy. Um... This will be a good a good last game. We're already at an hour and 40 minutes almost of streaming. So uh, I'll take the cut that Panzer 68 for one game as requested. And then that will be it for me. Uh, let's see. Hello, E75. Where are you? Hello? 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 Eh? Eh? Where? Where? <laughs> He's not AFK? But, huh? Where could he be? No way. He must have driven somewhere and gone AFK, right? Um. Huh. Well, I can I can assuredly say I was not expecting that. All right, let's aim for them field tanks. Maybe here. Maybe there. Ah, I damaged him with the third shell. He's gonna die to the one to one before I'm reloaded, so GG. <laughs> well, that's cool. Lots of nice little rotations. That TVP got messed up, taking 1500 HE damage there. Um, and I see Van is streaming already. Hey, Miyamoto, how's it going? If not, then probably just get the gun and some speed. Hey, from Ireland Fanis, E server a bit mad at the moment. Oof. Hello. <laughs> Not sure why the E server is. Oh! 69 33 damage dealt. Dang it. I was like one high roll away from getting 7k. Still, not a bad final game. I know, I know. 1200 damage on an AFK. It seems to be the case quite often in the 57, but it's not like my team wasn't uh, great either. I mean, we had two donuts as well, and our bat chat did one shot. So basically, three donuts. Uh, and then the top four players had to carry hardcore. Uh, but yeah, love the 57. Very solid tank. And there's just a lot going for it. It's gun is really what makes it stand out. And so hopefully that was helpful. Let me see. I think the Kampfpanzer is... Is this it? Is it in the store right now? I play like one game in it because it was like requested. Uh, but then I got to go because I have things to attend to today. Let me see Kampfpanzer. Is it in store right now? Uh, I don't think it's in store right now. Or I don't see it. Let me see. Oh, it is. Ay, ay, ay. Those are some expensive crates. Okay, let's see what this tank is boasting. Decent pen, but we can run that. Oh! Improved suspension, W. Um, APCR doesn't really get health too much by calibrated, so I'm not going to worry about it. Lol. Yes, let's spend gold. Um, standard consumable layout for me. Hey, Bobby. How's it going? 
Any cool camos for this tank? Absolutely not. We're running camo list because we are skilled like that. Okay, let's take it for a spin. I, I don't know if I've played this tank before or not. Uh, Ghostwing Fantasy, as always. Thank you very much, Sunstar. All right. Fantasy Cotton, 4K Farming, AFK, AL. Shh. <laughs> You not the, not the KPZ. Hey, I'm just doing it based on a request from someone in the chat. That's all. Uh, I'm probably never going to really stream this tank, but I'm curious. I am curious about it. So, see you, curious. Uh, speaking of curious, see you, curious. Thanks for dropping by today. Um, if not, then probably just get the gun. Okay, yeah. And hey, there's more YOLOers, and EU has more passive players. You know, that's funny because it used to be vice versa where the ENA was super passive and EU was way more YOLO y. Uh, which meant if you were good back in the day, you could kind of just sit back and farm the YOLOers. In NA, it was just like a sweat fest every game to try and farm damage. Because <laughs> everyone was just dug in, sniping. What is this Q? What's, what's, what, what is this? What is this? In a minute. I'm not playing same control mode on. I guess I have to put Supremacy back on. Wait, let's see. E50M is big no-no. E50M stream win. Uh, it's not on the objective. Oh, speaking of which... Yeah, no, next stream will probably be four shot bad shot because that will just be very funny. I'm going through my list of streams that I created. Uh, so we did the 55, we did the Vickers, light. We just finished the 57. We'll probably do bad shot next for funsies. All right. Hey, fans of some Jack Sensor. Hello, hello. Thanks for accepting the request. Appreciate it. Yep. Okay. Is this a med? Yeah, it has to be given the spawning. Looks like it might have semi-troll armor. I don't know. Um, 10 second reload, so I assume its alpha is going to be about 270 or above. Given the reload is pretty long. It is not the most mobile, and this is with the improved suspension. So I think improved suspension is probably going to be a must on this vehicle over optics. Because even with improved suspension, it's it's barely, barely reaching 45 kilometers an hour. Alright, let's see. Hopefully the gun cooks. What's the gun depression like? Okay over the front. Maybe it's more over the side. Oh, it is more over the side. So this is like an old school E50M where it has a lot of gun depression over the side. Looks like maybe 10 or 9. Uh, and then maybe like 7 or 8 over the front. Something like that. Hello. Oh, wow. Hi, Bobby. I was not expecting it for 390. So it's a higher alpha gun. It has 380 alpha? Yo, that's pretty good. Hey, Bobby. Okay, okay, I get it. You want to lie in my lap. You're a good kitty. There you go. Uh, we got to watch for some crossfires here, though. Ooh-wee. So not the most effective frontal armor. I got I got pent through a weird spot on the turret. That might just be a rare weak spot. Um, it does look like the enemy team are starting to pressure down low here soon. There's the, seven, there's the 252U, who does ricochet off me there, fortunately. So we'll have to keep an eye out for his tank. And there's also an IS-5 being quite aggressive up here too. Put a quick shot onto him. Nice. I have support from a, a a pretty solid medium tank. One of the strongest actually. So I'm not too concerned about my flank at the moment. Or getting yielded from above. Some some object 5... 252U pushing in. And yep, 252U space side armor goes burr. You see how it is with those tanks? Nasty little buggers. Alrighty. Oh, hello, IS-5. No, 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 no. You silly man. Okay. Hmm. No, the Alpha is pretty good on this tank, though. Oh, there's the Basilisk. Or Byzante. Why did I call it a Basilisk? I don't know. You know, the gun's pretty good. For 380 Alpha, this feels really quite solid. I low-key think I like the gun. Alright, 252U just fired. Wait, what am I doing? Am I too slow to climb this hill properly? Yep, my tank is way too slow. That's a bit unfortunate. How silly of me. How very silly of me. I do have a Yag Panther for support. Uh, are you going to tunnel me that hard, dude? You know you can practically two-shot the Yag Panther too, and he's a way more deadly tank than me. This is why I don't like slower meds. They can't do the hill climb there. I'll just turn around here and go the other way. At least he has good traverse speed. If this was a heavy, it'd low-key make more sense. <laughs> this has been the most rat game. I don't know if I really like this as a showcase of the tank. It's just basically me ricocheting off of a 252U the whole time. I am so bad at remembering the names of tanks in tier 8. It's kind of funny. Wow, 
What even is the 252 side armor profile, man? That just should not... That should not be. Like, look how much red there is. You have to hit, like, above or below the space side armor. Okay, this game sucked. I don't... I don't want it. I don't want to use this. This is the only game. This was the most boring above game. I shouldn't have even bothered with these dudes. But I, I didn't think our team was going to cook so hard on the flank here. That definitely caught me off guard. One more shot. <laughs> the gun feels good. I want to give it a more fair, uh, objective look. A more objective peek at it. That that game was just kind of rat. <clears throat> Two thousand two hundred damage. Yikes! That was I know that was top, but that game play felt so bad. I want to try one more time. <laughs> Bub Bubbers, yes. I never liked cats too much, but my ex had soon, and they only and uh, and the only way was to learn how to love them. Boy, I spoiled those gremlins. <laughs> Well, I get it. Some people don't like cats. Some people don't like dogs. Personally, I think both are great. And Bobby is just an absolute sweetheart. Always, always on my lap. Always with me wherever I'm in. So, uh, it definitely helps if you don't have an orange cat. Will you literally ever do a CS stream? Bro, trust me. It's really not that... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I did a CS stream, like, on its release, right? <laughs> Hope you're doing okay, bud. How are you doing now? Yo, Skip Dirk, man. Sorry to hear that. that. That's that's rough. Hopefully you were able to make a recovery and uh, maintain good health. Seems like it's a lot more common nowadays with all the nasty chemicals and stuff they put in our food. Unfortunately. All right. Let's see. No one spooted. Absolutely no one spooted. Like, legitimately, no one has been spooted. What is this? Invisible tanks? Everyone sitting in the back of the map? I need to know. Oh, hello, KB5. Oh, of course he hits that. He had such a tiny shot on my tank there, too. That's crazy. Okay. Alright, pull forward again. Well, this is a weird game already. I don't know what to say. It's like everyone's just sitting back in Narnia. It is the ultimate Narnia simulator. Whoo! <gasps> oh, Scorpion. Yes, yes, very good scorpion. Very good scorpion. Stay right there for me. I don't know if that went in or not. I'm gonna hope it did. This game's already over for the enemy team. Like, what on earth am I even watching, dude? Alright, let's see which way he's gonna angle. He's gonna angle that way. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's dead. Right? Oh, he had a fire extinguisher, I guess. Well, better late than never, right? What the heck is that? Charlemagne doing? Come on, Charlemagne. Time to poke. I think maybe I should stop sniping. Yeah, this isn't the most accurate sniper, so let me push in here and deal some damage. <laughs> these games are these games are just whack. I don't know what to say. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, I didn't HE pin the score. How unlucky. Hello. I try side scraping a little bit here. Doink. Okay, so the tank really doesn't have much in terms of armor profile. That seems to be a given here. But it's not the worst. At least it has decent reverse speed because of, yeah, the, the mechanic that the vehicle has in its equipment. So that helps. Oh my goodness. Oh, mean, mean. I wanted to nuke him. Okay, yeah, this thing feels okay. I don't know if it's like super good or anything in T-Ray, but it does the job. It's gun does feel pretty solid, I will admit. It is a pretty solid amount of alpha on the, on it. And the accuracy could be a lot worse given that alpha. Oh, that's a rock. Silly me. Shooting rocks is a talent. I promise you. It takes years of invested skill to get good at that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Think the eyes do stop there waiting to shoot at me? It could be. We'll have to see. Anywho, I'm just gonna start dealing with the Charlemagne. Hello, Charlemagne. Charlemagne has just fired his gun. 426. Nice alpha, for sure. I was not expected to have alpha this high. You can HE me if you want. That's fine. 370. Almost an average roll there. This dude is dead. We got 3k damage out this game. I feel very talented indeed. Look at my skill. Alrighty. Let's see if we're fast enough to pick up the clear on this ISU here. 
No, he got spotted from above. It's, it's too late. Oh, well. I'm happy with that. Interesting tank. Uh, I don't know. I don't play tier 8 enough in order to make an, a, uh, a good call on how good it is. But it seems okay, to be honest. That's that's how I would describe it. Okay. Did we ace the second game at least? Second class. Okay. Actually, that's pretty high ace bar. Well, I only did 1,000 ex uh, experience there. Before we get off, though, here's some... Um, here's some Bobby. Hi, girl. What you doing? Come say hi to... Come say hello to the stream, Miss Bubbers. Go on. Say hi. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Come here, Bobby. Bobby. Oh, stop being such a silly kitty and turn around. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, no. You're going to break my computer. Stop it. Psst, psst. Come here. Oh, come on. You're playing all difficult now. There you go. Yeah. Go say hi to everyone. Oh, no. Don't crawl under my computer. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much everyone for dropping by today's live stream. It was quite fun. Enjoyed the 57 heavy. Very solid tank. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Thank you very much for everyone who liked the stream and has been engaging in the chat. And um, yeah, yeah. And the donations and everything. Much dropping by. Oh, there's our Bobby. There's our Bobbers. <laughs> it's good to have you guys here as always. I'll see if I can stream again sometime this weekend. Either tomorrow or Sunday. I don't know. I'm having some guests, so might interfere a little bit but i will try and find a good time in order to do some bat chat shenanigans with miss bobby my my coordinator miss bobby that's that's your ear bobby that is your ear come say hi <laughs> she is rubbing her face on the camera stand right now if you're wondering silly kitty you <laughs> well that's gonna be it from me today and uh, from Miss Bobbers as well. We spent most of the stream on my lap. All right. Well, you guys have a great start to your weekend. Thank you very much again for coming by. I will see you next time. Later and peace. <clears throat>